Okay, we'll get to Travis Hunter in a moment, but here is Deion Sanders, who was asked... Jeez, how do I set this up? Um, Deion Sanders has become known for a lot of things. One of them is that he keeps a ranking of his four children. <laughs> I believe it's four, right? Four kids, and who is like the top spot it's like they're playing ladder matches at the tennis club or something but whoever is like first second third fourth apparently on on the good graces that they're in uh their father's good graces so he was asked after the game if shiloh the safety is moving up the kid rankings after he had a very crucial pick six in the game he is moving up. He is moving on up like the Jeffersons. But Shador is straight out balling too. So it's, it's tough. My kids' rankings are tough. It's a serious run right now. I'm the only one that's honest about ranking my kids. You guys act like you love all of them the same and you don't. <laughs> I don't know why y'all act like that. And if you want to get some uncomfortable laughter from the press corps, just call people out for not ranking their kids. How could you not rank your kids? Like, that's what... That's the Deion Sanders experience. By the way, I have two kids, and I, this is going to sound like I'm being a politician, but no, I, I really don't have a one to rank it. Like, uh, Deion is, Sanders would call you a liar. I don't think that that's a thing. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't think but it is either. Four, it might be. Before, there's going to be some bad apples in that line. I don't think if you have two. <laughs> Because one and two ranking, there's not enough movement. But okay. <laughs> well, just they're vying for the top <laughs> yeah, position. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's not enough competition because competition drives success. Do your yeah. kids not have a sibling rivalry? Not, not for my attention or my wife's attention. No. I okay. mean, yeah, there's no, not really. They don't have a sibling rivalry because one's older, one's younger. I think when you get to four, then you're talking power rankings, and that makes <laughs> some sense to me. But to base it on football seems really. I don't know. Well, it's not what talking about football, too. He was talking about like, Deion Jr. He was talking about his Twitter game. Yeah, there's a lot. He does all the social the media. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I was like, who does the dishes and stuff like that? I think that would be much more important for well, kids. Well, grown-ups. <laughs> well, and the fact that he's talking about, like, well, yeah, but he r- ranking them by who he loves most. It's one thing if you want to rank your kids by who's having a better week, who got the better grades, yeah. or, like, who had a better week on the field. He's talking about who he loves more, like, I would love my kids equally, but no, I maybe think it's, one of them has, like, a better week than the other one or something. I think it's that he loves them all the same, but it's, like, who's just occupying the top spot now? Like, who who's really on a heater? And, honestly, but, Shador really is. It's really got to be running away with this thing. But if you if there was an actual family, if this really happened, where if there was you have four kids and you ranked them and posted your rankings based on grades, that would also be ridiculous. No parent's going to do that. No, I think that probably wouldn't be very fair. But you can't post them on your stat line. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, she, he's like, he's like, well, she's daughter. She doesn't yeah. really, how's she going to get in the she, game? She, she apparently gave him a great hug, and that really helped out. Okay, okay. So, all right. <laughs> the criteria for these rankings is target, utterly right? fascinating. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, this is really interesting. Twitter game, that's that's fun. Um, also, too, with Shador, Shador was bleeding, and Dion went all dad and sort of uh, cleaned up his nose. I was wondering. Yes. I know we got more to get to here, but is it possible that Dion's massive disruption to college football has more to do with the fact that his son is an absolute baller? Like, is he going to be able to do this after Shador? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to be the challenge, because I don't think Dion's going anywhere, and Shador's definitely looks like he's going to the NFL. So he's going to have to replace Shador at one point. My theory about Shador is maybe he stays at Colorado, gets $20 million to play there next year because he wants to be number one, and Caleb Williams might be number one. $20 that's a good million. Yeah, I mean, the guys are getting 10 now. I guess. He's already in a couple commercials and stuff. This, and I, this is the most hyped team in the NIL era. Why not? I, I guess so. That's I think a it's lot. funny. I think it's funny though, because like Perloff's whole thing is about how all players are just a product of the system. You know, Tom Brady's yeah. system quarterback is a famous Perloff take. You know, Cooper yeah. Cup system wide receiver. Obviously, Puka Nakua. We see maybe that's true, but it's like Dion's the opposite. It's like Shador's so good that the coach Dion is a product of uh, Shador. Well, it does yeah, you're right. That that you're is really going against the grain there. The, uh, <laughs> but I was just wondering though, like, could Dion do this if he didn't have a great quarterback? And I'd probably. Not. Well, the fa- I I don't think I, I mean unless you were really lo- locked into every Jackson State game, I don't think you had any clue no. that Shador was going to be this good. And you couldn't judge based on the the level that was FCS school. You couldn't judge based on the level of competition. Uh, I did not see this, but Samter ver- like vows that this is true. That Deion Sanders' mother, his mother Connie, was in the locker room after the game because obviously Jay Norvell, the Colorado State coach, we've all been through this. <laughs> called out Dion for wearing the hat and the sunglasses, basically said, my mom raised me right, right? 
wear the hat and the sunglasses. Uh, uh, I, I wouldn't wear a hat and sunglasses inside. So Dion brought his mom to the. I don't know how I missed this. Here is Con here is Connie. Is our last name Sanders? Here's Dion's mom responding to Jay Norvell. He alluded to the fact that his mama raised him. And my mama didn't raise me right. I raised him right. Also told him to always be yourself. If you have to kick ass, kick ass. I like that. Now I see where Dion gets it from. <laughs> She's going to talk kick her. Ass, oh, yeah. Kick ass. I like she was very comfortable on the mic there. All right. So go Connie. We like that. The Can best I... part of the video, though, is R The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, just standing there in the background behind Dion with his arms crossed, nodding his head like he's, uh -huh. he's a part of it. Yeah. Well, The Rock was everywhere. Um, writer strike, actor strike. Rock's got nothing to do but show up at some Colorado games. We love it. Can I nitpick one thing about the game? Sure. I know we're far removed from the game now. It's Monday, talking about Saturday. But when Colorado State had the ball, they're up a touchdown, they're up eight, and it was right before the two-minute warning in regulation, obviously. And they had a fourth and two at the Colorado 45. Yeah. You got to go for it there. They ended up punting. And obviously, we know what happens next. Shador leads this incredible touchdown drive. They get that. They get the two-point conversion that goes to overtime. And then in double overtime, Colorado wins it. But can I just nitpick that coaching decision? You're on the road. You've got Colorado against the ropes. you got a fourth and two at their 45. Go mm. for it. You say obviously, like anyone. I don't know a single person who was actually up for that game, two forty-five on the East Coast. I'm just saying you could um, go back and watch it. That's your nitpick of that game. That's How about nitpick. the fact that Jay Norvell comes on the week before with this moral stance about wearing sunglasses and hats, then has literally five plays in one of the cheapest hits in recent college football history. Like, if I, I mean, I Colorado, God bless them. I would have punched every single player on that Colorado State team. That was so dirty, the Travis Hunter hit. Yeah, Henry Blackburn is the Colorado State safety who came over and hit Travis Henry. I'm glad you brought that up because it brings us back now to what we found out today, which is Travis Hunter, according to Dion, is going to be out for three weeks. Oh, what a bummer. Skip Bayless is reporting that he has a lacerated kidney, but Dion would not confirm that. Three weeks, of course, that means Oregon and USC. Are out. That's all we want to see. I don't think, however, that Hunter is as important as Shador because uh, they moved the ball fine after Hunter went out of the game. No, yesterday. offensively, you can yeah. make up for it. I think defensively is where they're yeah. going to miss him. That's the thing about having a, a two-way star like this. It's like you. It's now you're losing two players. Well, I mean, listen. In one. I, if you told me a month ago that we were even talking about this, I would never have thought Colorado was going to be able to, with a brand new defense and with a defensive line that Dion admitted was kind of weak coming into the season, could hang with Oregon and USC's offense. Like Travis Hunter or no Travis Hunter, it's still going to be a. I don't know how they're going to do in these games. It's going to be fascinating. The line moved to 21 for Oregon. It was 14 last week. Yep. I'm betting Colorado, aren't you? I mean, how could anyone not? No, but I, now this puts me in a tough spot because I am rooting for the Oregon Ducks this year. Yeah, but 21, that seems really rich. Yeah, you know, I, I really thought also that Blackburn, I know it was it was a personal foul, obviously, that gets called, but, I mean, he could have been ejected for that. I can't believe he wasn't ejected. He should have been. The ball hit the ground. He took three steps afterwards. Like, that was The play awful. was over. I mean, we do see those. It's not like that's the only time anyone's ever made a hit like that. No, no and that, it wasn't like was a helmet-to-helmet helmet no. type thing. It was like a helmet-to-ribs, which you can understand probably, and I'm not a doctor, yeah. but how a rib gets broken and then lacerates your kid. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you were watching Sunday, there must have been 15 helmet-to-helmet helmet shots that were there called. Were, I thought this week was particularly brutal yeah, what, in the NFL. what is going on? Yeah. Like, and actually, I wasn't, even mad. I wasn't even mad for the concussions. I'm like, why do defenses want to stay on the field? Third down and 10, incompletion, it's boom, stupid. helmet to helmet. Yeah. Stupid. It's like, coach, they haven't learned anything. I, I feel like we thought we'd made progress, Maggie. I don't know if we had. That hit in the Colorado State game, we saw hits just like that on Sunday. And it was terrible. And I know Travis Hunter did end up coming back in briefly to the game, which is crazy. But, you know, you knew it was terrible because we have eyes and we watched it. But he takes his helmet off immediately. He's like writhing in pain on the ground. Oh, and that's, that's a brutal. shame because if he's out three weeks or more, 
I thought his Heisman candidacy, not that it's all about individual awards, but I thought that was really going to take off because we haven't yeah. seen anyone do it this in this way for so long. Right, except that Nebraska changed them. They threw it. They didn't even throw it to his side of the field more than once the entire game. So you could avoid a cornerback. He could be a good receiver. What I'm worried about is he's a multi-million dollar NFL player who's not that big. Should he come back at all? Should he come back at all? Well, he has to play next year, too. He's not eligible. This ah, year. dang it. Yeah, 855-212-4CBS. But, but I think the question might still be valid. If he never played another snap in college yeah. football, is he still like the, the top five pick? Pull a Nick Bosa. Pull a Jamar Chase. Yeah, Why right. not? I mean, Nick Bosa played part of a season in his junior year, but I yeah, don't not know. much, though. But NIL helps. I do think all these Colorado, especially those two guys, are going to make a lot of money. Uh, they, they seem very, very visible. If if you were marketing, wouldn't you sign those guys up in a heartbeat? Absolutely. 855-212-4CBS, 855-212-4227. A quick so, question I have for you just real quick back course. to that game. Yes. They're 24-point favorites. I know it was an epic comeback and a great way to end the game. Storming the field against oh, Colorado State? It's college, kids. Storming Let them have the field fun. when you're 24-point Favorite? I, Come I, on. Here's the here's a question. Act like you've been there, Colorado. Act like they've been there. They won a game last year. They haven't <laughs> been there in twenty years. I mean, here's the thing. I for peep for adults like Samter and others, you're not the only one, who tried like you get four years in college. Then you get to root for your team. Okay, if you're a student section, you want to storm the court, go ahead. Do it whenever you don't yuck their yums. So what's the line? Nah, I'm not, like, I'm, like, I'm at Mike. what point do you not storm the field? You, you storm the field after every win? So they beat Arizona State, you storm the yeah. field? If it's a double overtime and you were down, you come all the way back, it's like heightened tension. They were scuffles. The other team knocked out your best player or your second best player. So wait, like North Carolina beat App State the other day in overtime. Like they were supposed to storm the field. Well, I don't remember the App State coach <laughs> calling out the North Carolina coach for wearing Are, a hot oh. sunglasses and a hat. Jay Norville said eight words that the media blew into telling you. you can, that's oh okay. That's why we're storming the field because Jay Norville's whoever the heck that is said don't wear sunglasses inside. Let's storm the field. <laughs> I think if you're in college, you can storm the field whenever you want. Mm. You have carte blanche to storm any. Field. I don't know. You got to think about public safety, Maggie. 